Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I want to talk to you about stack and unstack, two methods that people love to use in pandas once they've figured out how they work because it's not super obvious at first. So I'm going to first of all say import pandas as PD, which we do, and then I'm going to load up a data frame based on one of my favorite files that I use in exercises, the New York City taxi data from about six, seven years ago. So I'm going to say here df equals PD read CSV. I'm going to say taxi.csv, and it's just 100,000 lines, 10,000 lines. Ah, what's the order of magnitude among friends, right? So it's about 10,000 lines describing taxi rides in New York. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to, going to run a very complex group by. And the point of this video is not to show you group by, but I want to get to the point where I have a complex data frame with a multi-index both on the rows and a multi-index on the columns. So I'm going to say here, uh, df group by, I'm going to say, first of all, by vendor ID and by passenger count. Vendor ID is whoever made the computer system in the taxi that's keeping track of your distance and payment. Passenger count is, well, how many passengers you have. I'm going to do this for both total amount and trip distance. And I'm going to calculate, ag, I'm going to calculate here both the mean and the standard deviation. What this means is I want for every combination of vendor ID and passenger count, to get the mean and standard deviation for both total amount and trip distance. And I run this and I get a semi-complex data frame back. Of course, I'm gonna get a data frame back because this is pandas. And I'm always gonna get a data frame back when I do this sort of thing. Okay, uh, just wanna move that up a little bit. All right, so this is fine. I'm gonna actually assign this to a variable, to G so I can work with it. Great, now what? Well, let's say, we can see that we have a multi-index here. On the rows, we have vendor ID and passenger count. And on the columns, we have the multi-index. And yes, it's confusing. We call it a multi-index on the columns. So it's a you know, multi-part column names, multi-index, total amount and trip distance, and mean and standard deviation for each of those. And you can pretty easily navigate, no pun intended, through these different pieces of data. So I could say, oh, if I have computer vendor ID two and two passengers, well, the trip distance on average will be 3.32 miles and will be a standard deviation of 4.18 miles. Okay, fine, not so bad. Here's the thing. What if I want to move the second part of the column, column index, to the rows? That is, I want to move mean and standard deviation to the multi-index on the rows, making the data frame longer but narrower. Do you understand how this would make it longer but narrower? Because instead of having four columns total in my data frame, I would only have two columns total in the data frame, one for total amount and one for trip distance. But the number of rows would double because I would need then rows, one for mean and one for standard deviation. And this is known as stack. Stack basically says I have a multi-index in my columns and I want to take one of those levels of the multi-index and move them to be part of the multi-index of the rows. So I can say here, g.stack, and I say level equals one. Wait, wait, level equals one, what does that mean? Well, level one means that I'm gonna start counting at zero. So this would be level zero, total amount trip distance, and this, the second one is level one, just as everywhere in Python, we start counting with zero when we're numbering things. So if I do this, g.stack level equals one, look at this. Oops, I have to actually press return here. Ah. So now I have, sure enough, two columns, total amount and trip distance, and I have many more rows, twice as many rows, in fact. And you can see now that the multi-index on the rows has gotten bigger. Now I have three parts to it, vendor ID, passenger count, and mean or standard deviation. But the columns now no longer have a multi-index, it's just a single dimensional index. Now, because I did not use in place equals true, which is a good thing you should never be using it, I didn't change G, rather I got back a new data frame. So if I want to, I can now go back and play with G again. I can say G stack. Well, what if I say level equals zero? Or actually, if you don't pass an argument at all. So this means take the outer layer of the multi-index columns and move to the rows. And sure enough, if I do that, what was on the outer layer there? Oh, it was total amount and trip distance. And sure enough, that's what I've got. Total amount, trip distance, now move to the rows. So stack is what you want to do. Stack is what you want to do when you have a multi-index in your column and you want to move that, you know, part of that multi-index to your rows. Okay, 
But what if you want to do the opposite? That is to say, if I now look at G at my data frame, my rows now have lots of have two parts, right? It's a multi-index. So I have vendor ID and passenger count, right? What if I want to move vendor ID, let's make it vendor ID as we spell it, to the columns? That'll make my data frame wider and the rows you know, shorter or, you know, and the, the number of rows lower. So I'm going to say here, this is unstack. This is unstack. So I can say now G dot unstack and I'll say level equals while well, we want to say vendor ID. So it's level equals zero. If I can type today and look at that. Now we have vendor ID has moved to the columns and now the rows are just passenger count. Now, could I do it for level one? Yeah. Could I do this with passenger count? Yes, I can say G unstack of level equals one. And then I get this horrifically wide and very short data frame because we now have two rows, one for each value of vendor ID, but a lot of columns, in fact, 28 columns, because we have total amount of trip distance, that's gonna be two, mean and standard deviation, that's gonna be two, and then we have zero through six passengers. So that's a lot that it works out to be. Pretty, pretty snazzy. Now, wait a second. I'm going to go back here to my original G, to the result of my group by. And I'm actually going to move now the um, mean and standard deviation to my rows. So I'm going to say G equals stack of level equals one. Oops, G stack level equals one. And now if we look at G, sure enough, now this is what we saw before. We have two columns and three parts to our multi-index. What if I want to move more than one part of the row, row multi-index, to the columns? Well, a general rule of thumb in pandas is that anywhere you can use a single value, you can pass a list of values. And this is no different. So I can say G unstack, and I'll say level equals, and I'll give it a list. So I'm going to say here a list of, and let's move vendor ID and mean and standard deviation. So it's going to be levels 0 and 2. 0, 2, and voila. Now we have passenger count being our rows, and our columns have now gotten to be multidimensional there. Pretty, pretty snazzy. Now I want to make it very clear. All this stuff that I've just done does not change any of the calculations. None whatsoever, right? It's just changing the way in which things are displayed to us. That we're saying, should they be in the rows, should they be in the columns, and from which perspective do I want to view things? But basically, basically, it's just a way for us to understand it better. It doesn't recalculate, doesn't change the numbers, doesn't change the results that we're going to get. All right, I hope this was interesting and useful. Certainly, uh, um, many people that I meet who work with pandas are really confused by stack and unstack, so I hope this helped to deconfuse you. Let me know in the comments, tell me what you want to learn, and I will be back really soon with lots more on both Python and pandas. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.